my channel. This is my friend Claire. If you did not know, she is a human and not a humanoid. <laughs> human. I mean, she's a human and also a humanoid because humans are all inher humans inherently humanoid. Are humanoid, but right. not all humanoids mm -hmm. are human. Are human. Hmm. So this is our first like wrap up for our. Rebel Alliance Reading Club. <laughs> so today we're actually going to be discussing. I, it's like a. It's actually a uh, comic book bind up. Like a. What do they. What do they call them? There's a specific name for it. Trade paperback. Oh my god, that's what they call them. I didn't actually even see it in the book. I just remembered like as I was trying to find it. I just uh, kept calling the, it a graphic novel and yeah, I knew it wasn't. Well, I mean, well, but it's, it, it, it is and it's not, right? Because like a graphic novel is like an like extended more, comic book. Yeah. But this is a trade paperback. It is a bind up of all of the comic books. So this was a five part mini series of Darth Maul comics that we purchased in the trade paperback form. And we read today. Today. And then we also watched The Phantom Menace because that was the other portion of this month's yes. like a, a, a assignment. <laughs> and I fell asleep a little bit. So I, I, I forgive just her because <laughs> The Phantom Menace is boring AF. It's really boring. To it's be fair. So and also, boring. but you had said like you you've watched it way more times than I have. Like I like we established at the beginning of this movie that I've only seen that movie like twice before now because I hated it that fucking much. Like <laughs> I hated that movie so much that I watched it maybe two or three times and then was like, yeah, no, I fucking hate this. Why would I ever watch it again? I don't hate, I don't think it's good. Okay. I it's don't, not good. I don't like, I don't like it, but it's still a Star Wars movie. So I watched it it's when it came out and then like once or twice after that Yeah. and then I haven't watched it in at least 10 years. Watching it tonight, I will say it's not nearly as bad as I remembered it being. It's not. And that might just be like my... Because everybody talks crap about it all the time. So yeah, like, everybody you just have movie, like built forever. up. Yeah, yeah. You have built up this idea of how terrible it is, and there were some parts where I was like, and that's probably me. That's so bad. Like there were just, but to be fair, there's a little bit in each movie that's just not your favorite right part. But then the rest of it, yeah, it makes up for it. Actually, I think the only movie that I can think of where I was not... The, actually, there's there's two. There are two movies, two Star Wars movies that I can think of where I there was not a moment where I can remember being like, uh, what the fuck? And it's A New Hope, the original, like, the OG Star Wars movie. I fucking love that movie front to back. And The Force Awakens, which is basically a New Hope <laughs> remix. Like, both of those movies... I fucking love them. I yeah. love them so, so fucking much. Like, yeah. there's nothing about either one of those movies that I'm like, fuck this. This is the worst. Like, they're just good. They're yeah. both good. Yeah. Fight me. Like, I know there are people out there that don't like a For The Force Awakens, and I'm like, but why, though? It's like, do you so like Star good. Wars? Because that movie is, like, it's literally... very the, Star it Wars. It is the best parts yeah. of all of the Star yeah. Like, it yeah. is... Yeah the Star Wars. It's so good. It's but that's not what we're talking about. No, today. it's not. It's okay. not what we're talking about. We digress. <laughs> I mean, it so, was important that those things were said. Yeah. It is important. <laughs> Look at all my notes. I made notes. I did not make notes. I made I notes. I slept. I woke up for, I woke up for the loud parts. <coughs> I was like, yeah, they're... I did have it turned up really loud, though. Roger, roger. <laughs> roger, roger. Roger, roger. I, look, I do love the battle droids, though. I do love them, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's one of the things that people shit on. No. But they're the, actually pretty great. Very like, Star battle Wars droids are pretty, like, Roger, Roger. I love it. They're I very Star Wars. Okay. I have notes about the Darth Maul trade paperback. It's by Cullen Bunn. Luke Ross is the artist. I'm interested to see how you felt like about this light. Oh, thank you. I got it for Christmas from Janae. Hey, Janae. Because I know she's it's doing really the Star Wars book club thing. Wait, can I see? Wait. There it is. <laughs> the notes that I have for the Darth Maul trade paperbacks is that it's just okay. Okay. I don't know how you felt about it, but I thought it was just okay. 
I also felt like it was just okay. Okay, it was just okay. But there, also, I mean, there wasn't it, anything spectacular about in it. The, in the Phantom Menace, like, we just see Darth Maul. They're just like, yeah, Siths, they've been gone. They're not real. Oh, look, there's a Sith. And there's yeah. this guy with this creepy tattooed face oh, and his, his horn. tattooed face. And, and, his... and he's all like, zoom, 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 and fights and whatever. And you're just like, who is this guy? What what even is that? Right. So the comic. You would expect to like read the comic that takes place before, like it's the thing that takes place immediately before The Phantom Menace. You kind of, in your head, think that it's going to be like, oh, we're going to actually like learn some shit about Darth Maul. This is going to be like badass. Come to find out, he's kind of just like a little angsty bitch baby like see and i was gonna say the all, opposite like, all the rest of the set <laughs> like i was gonna say the opposite i was gonna say not like i liked it oh it's so good i'm gonna read that a few times a year forever not no that's not it but like we got to see inside like he doesn't hardly talk and yeah Phantom like Menace. he says basically nothing and we Phantom get a Menace. look inside his head and you know his thought process but that's where for like things. that's where my thing comes in mm -hmm. is like it's a much it's basically to me a much more like low-key version of anakin slash darth vader and ben solo slash kylo ren mm -hmm. where they're both like Nobody understands me and nobody's going to give me what I want and all I want is what I want and like me like they're just super sad about it but like that's what like makes to me up the dark side though yes yeah, no what it is dark for side sure is. like I that's to me that's like a prerequisite for being yeah. a Sith yeah I didn't get that at all I mean I got that he wanted revenge because like their entire like like, all of them were wiped out. Yeah, like, the Jedi murdered all, yeah. basically all of the and Sith. So like, almost all of the And so, those are, like, your people, like, him and Darth Sidious must have felt so alone, you know? Like, there's... Right. Like, I can think of it from their that, point of I view. Guess. Like, yeah. they just like, feel so like, wrong If you had your people and then all of your people were, like, murdered. But the thing about it is, is, like, that happened, like, before Darth Maul was even a thing. Oh, like, Like, before he was a person. Yeah. Yeah, this happened, like... Hella before he even existed. Yeah. And then he was like a little angsty bitch baby. And they were like, hey, you seem like the perfect person that could be a Sith. And he was like, cool. And then they were like, the Jedi murdered all the Sith. And he was like, wait, that's not cool. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, but there's just a big like transitioning moment where... Like, that makes sense to me. And here it is. Okay. So, in the part where Darth Maul has, um, like, they This is, like, a fucking cool ass scene yeah. to me, though. Where yeah. it's like, oh, no, this isn't the one. But there's one where he's like, help me. And he's like, oh, if only I had my eyeballs. So, this is after they take Eldris and yeah. they are on the ship like they just escaped the parte and they're on the ship and Darth Maul's like in his little like in touch with the force like yoga pose mm -hmm. um and then mm -hmm. he's given like this vision of like all of these Sith Lords of like the attack like he even yeah, like he like sees a it happen. earlier like he he's sees it happen like the and vision he experiences of that. it like he was there yeah right. and that like renews his fart like it's he's like he's been all about like revenge it. but then like he can really experience it like it, it becomes real for him like the passion is there the drive is there um so I don't know I just thought like it did. A good job of letting us see inside his head because like he doesn't have a lot of lines he doesn't talk much in the phantom this yeah no, like, is bro. and then in the just, like in this we see like i understand what you're saying some back and i appreciate your opinion but i think that we do have two different feelings about it like yeah. you're like no i get it i see I get this it. is great and i'm like think it's cool like, I'm like i don't like it but i get it you're a whiny little bitch like that's basically what you're doing is being a whiny little bitch because like that's the whole that like literally like from the start because 
I would argue that half of the dialogue that takes place in this like whole bind up is Darth Maul's like inner monologue to himself mm -hmm. being like the Jedi are the fucking worst. They killed all my friends and I'm fucking mad about it, okay? Also, um, like the Twi'lek, Tw do you call them Twi'leks or Twi'leks? To me it seems like they should be called Twi'leks, but they're actually called Twi'leks. Oh, Keedris or Eldris? Keedris. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's Eldris like Keita. She's a fucking badass. I don't know what it is. I love her. Yeah. Um. She's really they were also cool. like even like if you want to speak on the art style of this bind up slash comic book, can we just call it a comic book? If that, you want, yeah. if you want to speak to like the art style of this comic book, honestly, there were more panels that I disliked than there were panels that I liked. Yeah, yeah. There were pages yeah. where I got kind of confused because there are some where I really would like to find an example of this where like the top half covers like. All of this yeah. and you're supposed to read it like from here to here, but then the bottom half is like Like during the yeah. auction when they're doing yes. the auction and they're like, oh actually It was real, yes, but no, that's credits. exactly, that's exactly it's, the one that, that initiated yeah. my confusion It wasn't the only one that confused me, but okay, yeah, here like it is. This, this confused is, me too, okay. like yeah. do you so go like it's, this, right. or do it, you go like it this? It feels like, I still like, don't know. like when you're looking at it in the book as you're reading it, it feels like you should go all the way across, all the way across, all the way across, but that's not it. That's not it. It goes mit, 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 and then you come back up here, mit, 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 mit. But I think it's because the coloration on the panels are all the same. Yeah. Like the coloration for the top two panels are the same, the same, the same. So you feel like this is one panel, this is one panel, and yeah, that's yeah. not the instance. Like it goes this page, this page. I had to and read, then, there were several pages like this that one you had to read more that than I had to read multiple like, what times the and like kind of rearrange right. it into my brain to be like, how does this make sense? And then there are also pages like this where like this top, the whole top half is one panel and then it's like, but, 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 but. Yeah. So that makes it that much more complicated because like this isn't one of them, but there's one that, like there are panels where there's like a main image and then there are panels kind of like overlaid and it feels like a fucking puzzle that you're trying to figure out like yeah, what order yeah. do they go in, that, that which was to me just seems like bad organization like on the part of the artist. So I'd like to know like their thought process, like yeah. it's going to make sense to the person who's creating it because they're the ones who created yeah, it, but like it's, it's hard to take a step back from that. And, like, I was gonna say user you can't friendly. Just, like, yeah, you can't like you can't imagine fresh eyes for it if you're the person that's actually creating yeah, it. Yeah, but how many comic books have I drawn up? Then, so um oh god, what else? Well, now that we've wrapped up with the comic book, let's move into the movie portion of this. The Phantom Menace. Phantom I have Menace. So fucking many notes. Like, you can totally skip that and still, like, gain the same things out of Star Wars in general. You know what I mean? Like Out of the Star the Wars in general, yes. Well, the reason that we're doing this is because we want, like, more story things. Yes. Like, a what's going on? Why are these people... Are, of the universe. Why are these whole. people like this? Why do they do the things they do? What else have they done in the world? This, to me, added zero to that. See, to me, it didn't, to me, it was like, oh, like it, I didn't understand certain things before and now like you have a better, I understanding. have a greater understanding of some things. Like I, this is why I have you doing this with me because you do things. I don't, I clearly don't do things. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why is this? This is pointless. I fucking wasted $20 on this bullshit. I hate it. <laughs> I don't, I don't hate it. I would give it like a solid 2.5 stars out of five. What would you, like out of five stars, how many stars? Okay, out of five stars, that's hard because it is still Star Wars. It is? And I would probably make a terrible Jedi because I let my emotions get in the way. And like I remember being like 10 and my dad taking me to go see it and like 
you know, I watched Star Wars forever You're before that. You're making this so much bigger than it needs to be. Yeah. Just this, 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 this. Yeah. Darth Maul. Five stars is tops. One star is Oh, I thought we were talking lowest. about the Phantom Menace. Oh, fuck no. We're still talking about Darth Maul. No, you just said we're moving on from No, we were movie. going we were going to, but then we oh. got distracted. And I feel like we need to like wrap up the Darth Maul oh. thing. So like I'm giving this this 2.5. This, this I'm giving a 2.5. 2.5. You're also we a 2.5? Yeah. You liked it better than I did. You're giving it the I same didn't same? like it. I said I didn't oh. like it. I thought it was important. I don't think it's important and I didn't like it and I gave it a 2.5. So we were talking about the man. Guys, I told you I was asleep out there. Now, Sleeping now time. starts Phantom Menace. Oh, is that bad? Do you need to like? Do you need to go home and sleep? Like when we're done. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like. Right in the <laughs> yeah, of right in the video. middle of our video. Right. I'm done. I can't I handle it. Sleep. I have to sleep. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> okay. I just so, do this. Me for the rest of the video. Okay. So the first, like I, I was making notes the whole time we were watching this movie. Not, I'm not gonna say the whole time, but like pretty good for like the first yeah. half of the movie. Yeah. I was like, every time I had a thought, and I would be like, oh, I would make a note. So the first note that I have is like four speed, because that's what my husband says that it's called. Yeah. Where they just like, <laughs> Claire said, hey. They just vampired out of there. How did they just vampire out of there? <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. And then we were like looking at each other like, what the fuck? And my husband was like, it's called four speed. Um, excuse you. That's apparently the thing they I thought they just like they walked or ran. Like, is, why don't they use like, that? So my notes are four speed, vampire out of there. Um... <laughs> and then Jar Jar shows up, so it's, my my note literally says, terrible. Misa, think you suck. Okie day. Okie day. <laughs> Jar Jar is the worst. I fucking okay. hate Jar Jar. But I will say that this is one of those things that, like, being a little older and, like, looking at things more critically, I understand that Jar Jar is kind of what R2-D2 was in the original trilogy and what BB-8 is in the new trilogy where it's like he's that comic relief he's there like to entertain the kids he's there yeah. to sell toys yeah. like he has his purpose it's not yeah. a good purpose it's definitely not as well done as R2-D2 was it is definitely not as well done as BB-8 is yeah like it, but he kind of fills that same role yeah like, I that's get what that. he's there for it, he still sucks but I do get that. And yeah, he would sell, he would be toys. Yeah. And be sold as lots yeah, of toys. That's a Hasbro thing. Of that's, movie. that's Hasbro. That make them lots of movie. Make them lots of money. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the whole purpose of Jar Jar. And yeah. I don't like him. I will never like him. I think he's useless. I think he's fucking way over the top. Like, yeah. And that's another thing, too, yeah. is like, Star Wars has always, to me, seemed to ride that line where it's like, is this fucking for real? And then, like, obviously it's not because it's a sci-fi movie yeah. and it's cuckoo crazy. But, like, there are things where it's like, oh, shit, I could, like, that makes sense. That makes sense. And, like, to me, the problem is that Jar Jar does not make sense. Like, he falls on the other side of that line where it's just yeah. like... No, this is too much. Like it's it too. It there's a like, there like, is a like, fine line. There is a takes fine away. line, and Jar Jar fucking crossed it and yeah. some. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Too much. It's yeah. just so extra. Jar Jar is just extra. Yeah. Yeah. Some I'm other feelings. I am looking. I'm looking at my notes. I'm looking at my your notes. notes. Um, some of them I put in here before we actually like got to those portions of the movie oh. because I knew they were coming. But I was saying that like part of the problem with this movie, like a lot of the reason why like the reason why people don't like this movie is because it's so slow. Yeah. <clears throat> it is. But I don't even think that it's so slow. So the beginning of the movie is like lightsaber fights, stuff is happening, and then it kinda goes Mrr. and then it just stays there. I get that, like, like, it's like, one-third of the movie is lightsaber fights, 
two thirds of the movie is like, no, not two thirds. Like one third of the movie is like dumb shit. And then one third of the movie is more lightsaber fights. I think that's the problem. I think it's pacing. Pacing yeah. is the problem. I mean, obviously in, in movies, there's, you know, parts that are fast paced and parts that are slower and then parts that are filler. Yeah. You um, expect that. It's like, but, but in this movie, it's, it's disjointed and it, yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of awkward. Um, so there are, parts, there are parts that are like, whoa, stuff is happening. And then there are parts where I fell asleep. Exactly. I would also say that this movie, like The Phantom Menace was released in 1999. Mm -hmm. Yoda was 77, 78. I'm clearly not the person that knows enough to be hosting this YouTube Star Wars book club. It's about what's in your heart. 80. 1980. This is gonna be a fucking editing nightmare later for me. While we were watching The Phantom Menace, which came out in 1999. Yes. I would argue that the physical puppets that they had for The Empire Strikes Back, like for Yoda, in 1980 have held up better than the CGI in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they made Yoda look kind Bad. of scaly. I mean, I feel like that at this point, though, that's common knowledge because in The Last Jedi, the Yoda that appears in The Last Jedi is the original puppet. Like, they knew what the fuck was up because they brought back the puppet because they knew that that CGI was bullshit. It was bullshit. It made Yoda look like he had eczema or something. Yoda but had it wasn't a even condition. like I mean Yoda was like a thing that I probably could have gotten past, but it wasn't even just Yoda. It was like all of the other like no I'm not gonna say all, but like most of the other CGI elements like. But it was nineteen ninety nine like CGI. Most of the other CGI creatures in this movie to me were just like garbage. They were just bad. Not good. It didn't. It didn't hold up. And I, I do, like, she's right. It was 1999. It was 1999. But I'm not comparing it to now standards. I'm comparing it to 1978, 1980 standards. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's still fucking bad. Yeah. Like, it's bad. Like, they thought they were doing everybody a favor and being like, we haven't had one of these movies in 20, 30 years, and... I don't know how to math. I'm sorry if that's wrong. So let's like technology it up. Right. And it was not the right it thing to do. It just the technology still was not there yet. Um, so yeah, it was, you're, you're right. Even compared to yeah. 78, 79, 80, it was... Like, I prefer the graphics of the original yeah, trilogy yeah, over yeah. the prequel trilogy yeah. any day of the week. Yeah. Like, any day of the week. Yeah. Because That's they part have, of its charm, well, and it's, too. Yeah, and I mean, like, yeah. but it's also, like, practical... What is it? What is it called? It's like... You haven't been drinking. I've been drinking. You're just sleepy. You're sleepy, I'm drunk. Why are we doing <laughs> What this? are we doing? What are Who we knows? doing right now? Who knows? <laughs> the Gungans are just so extra. Fact. They are. <laughs> <laughs> My husband says that's what I sound like when I get angry. <laughs> and then, yeah, and they also make that <laughs> sound, which is hilarious because I was adding an, editing another video of mine uh -huh. earlier today and I told Greg, I was like, I fucking hate me because every time I get ready to say something, I'm like, yeah, yep, yeah, this, this, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm a fucking Gungan. <laughs> like, that's basically what I do. Um, and then I have the note okay. about Jar Jar, which we already discussed. Yes. And then it says, Ewan McGregor does a split kick while wielding a lightsaber. Yeah. Me, oh my god, I love you. Fucking yes. Okay. Fucking Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan. That's a good choice. Bitch, yes. Casting choice, A++. Plus plus. <laughs> um, character portrayal, like actually like the job that Ewan McGregor does, 
A plus plus. Ewan McGregor is amazing. Yeah. Obi Wan. He is, is amazing. Young Obi Wan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For it. Yeah. I, I while live, we're I live for it. While we're talking about that, can we also talk about like the fighting in like the um lightsaber duel? Like especially yeah. like when Darth Maul comes into the picture. Yes. Because he's. I mean, he's really good. I mean, to me, that's the most, like, entertaining part of the whole movie is, like, the lightsaber fights. watching the For lightsaber sure. fights. Um, yes, agreed. Because, uh, I mean, it was just really good. And I think that kind of comes back in um, some of the more recent movies that were just released, like The Force yeah, Awakens, The, Force the Awakens, Last Jedi. There's good lightsaber, lightsaber fights. fighting. And um, I Here, will say on, those lightsaber <clears throat> fights in those two movies are fucking a plus plus. Yeah, yeah. I will say it's not like super. It's not like, great. Yay! Compared to some other things mm -mm. that we've seen, but for this movie, it's it's good. It's good. It's entertaining and it's good. See, and I would argue that it's just okay. It's just okay. Like they're not great. They're not great. Me like my me and my husband Greg got into like a fucking massive argument right before me and Claire came in here to record this video. I tried to get him to come in here and fucking like fight me on camera and he wouldn't do it. A duel, sir. Yeah, I fucking challenged him. You're much more pleasant than I am. Like, Claire, a duel. Me, fight me, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> I tried to get him to, but he wouldn't do it. But it's about how this whole thing, I was like, Qui Gon Jin, I don't, I will go on record right here on the internet and say, I don't like Qui-Gon Jinn. I don't like him. I I don't like him. I mean, he's okay. The best thing that I can say about him is that he helped train Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan is like the best. So I, I think he, I like him. I don't think he was terrible, but like, I think he's pretty shit. He he's pretty shit. Maybe Part of it was the writing, I feel like, um, and not I mean, necessarily... That's all you have in a fictional world is the writing. I know, but like, he... Greg's okay. argument is when... actually like this whole new canon thing. Greg says that he was hella better like before Disney took over and nixed all the other things. So apparently there are things in like legend, like things that used to be canon but they're not canon anymore that make him like make Qui-Gon Jinn like the most badass motherfucker but I'm just like mm, I don't know from what I know he's a little baby like a little bitch baby I think I just don't he, like him I, I just don't, don't like think him. he's that but like I think he's kind of rash in some of his decisions like when he's taking Anakin away from his mom his mom is like is he to be trained as a Jedi and right. he doesn't go We've got to run some tests. We've got to talk about it with the Jedi Council. He's just like, got to, he goes, yeah, we good. Yes. Yeah, we good. And I'm like, we good. You're committing to that, like, awfully. Like, it's not just your decision. Like, yeah, you have he thinks to he's go like, through He thinks he's a badass that knows all of the things, and he's fucking and not. I he's think, not. I think my point with the, the writing, when I was like, I think it's the writing, I think that if this movie were to be made now, he would be portrayed a little bit differently. I didn't mean to be this drunk. That's okay. I really didn't mean to be. <laughs> you smell like bar wine right now. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> That's the nicest thing I've ever said to you. Um, oh, the age difference between... <gasps> the age difference I think we're between, on the same page there. between Padme and Anakin. And this, this turned into like a whole huge argument like mid-movie with my husband where he was like... Well, they're not humans, they're just humanoid, and also, like, she, he lives on a different planet than she lives on, so, like, the gravitational pull the and the rotation of the things and, like, all the stuff, and, like, these stuff people that, like, age makes sense. Than those people. The stuff that, like, makes sense if you take out of consideration the fact that they are actually humans. They are humans. They're not They're humans. They are humans. They not just humanoid. live on another planet. They, they are do. humans. And then also, he fucking leaves that planet, and then they they are basically like together forevermore after that. So and he's they should, a child. They should theoretically be aging at the same rate from that point forward. So 
Still fucking weird, Greg. Still weird. And I it's know weird. It's weird. I know that they meant this innocently. Like I know that they had a plan. Like this is how it's gonna happen. I so mean, it's not. Like, it's not characters. like she was like thirty and he was like seven. It's she's like. She's probably maybe a teen. fourteen. Yeah, she's a young. She's teen. like maybe fourteen, and he's like ten. So it's not like that crazy weird. But when you it see, looks it's one of those things weird that like in the movie when you're um when you're twenty and twenty four, that's a, that's a not difference. that weird. I mean, it's a difference, but it's not that weird. When you're ten and yeah. fourteen, yeah, 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 it's yeah, a yeah. little weirder. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those things that like when you're thirty and thirty four. That's, that's, it's not weird at all. Big deal. It's yeah. not weird at all. So it's like, it's all about like, I don't, I don't know what the actual age difference between the two of them is. We should probably look that up. But like, it's enough. It's enough. Like in the, in, like when you're watching the movie, it is a clear enough difference that makes it weird. It is, it was done weird weirdly it was uh, right because like t i feel like when i say he's 10 that's being generous yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and th there's like this one part where she's like i care for you i just things are gonna change once we reach the capital or whatever she says and he's like i care, I care, for, I you care for you too they probably meant it innocently but it is really pervy. It came across really pervy. So. It's, it's not it's cute. Odd. It's not cute. <laughs> Let's see. What else do I have? Pod race. Pod race. Pod race is good. Pod race is good. Race. Only if some part of this movie. Pod race. And I've heard people say, how like talk about how garbage the pod race is. No, that's but, the only good part yeah, of this movie. Yeah, the pod race is it's it's pretty good. cool. Yeah, the pod race is fun. It's fun. It's it not, fun. I mean, I won't go so far as to say it's good, but it's fun. It's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Midichlorians. How do you feel about midichlorians? They're a thing. They shouldn't be a thing. I don't like them. I don't like midichlorians. They're a thing discussed sometimes in this movie. They're a thing that should be ignored overall because... That's not how the force works. There's not some kind of like special microbe in your body that gives you force levels. That's not how the force works. No. No. It's not no. how this works. That's not mm -hmm. how any of this works. It's it's definitely much more like to me the the force is much more of like a spiritual yeah. thing. It's very like not so much like a biological like no, a physiological thing yeah, that like no, makes you up. It's to me, like, Star Wars has always felt mm -hmm. more like Eastern religion, like Buddhism, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's, mm -hmm. to me, that's, Like a Jedi religion. Yes, yeah. is, like, you could, like, if you want, like, a real world equivalent, it would be, like, Buddhism. Mm -hmm. They still have lots of variances, but, like, that's the closest thing, and so, to me, for them to be, like... Oh, here's a scientific explanation. Midichlorians. I'm like, uh, go fuck yourself. That's not. Yeah. That's not how the force works. Also, I it's think not. my comment during the movie about that was, did you know it's illegal to steal someone's blood without their consent? Um. Yeah. Because he's just like, I'm an idiot child. I'm, I'm just, cleaning I'm you. I'm just cleaning and your And I'm going wounds. to distract J you. With JK. Having you look up at the sky. And Obi Wan, test this bloods. Obi Wan, test this bloods. Yeah, yeah. No. Hold on, it's coming through. Like in their little mm -mm. communicator mm -mm. thing. Like mm -mm. I can talk through well, this, I and mean, suddenly I can also send a blood sample through it. Huh? It was in a galaxy far, far, far away. away. You're right. Sebulba. Can we talk about how Sebulba is basically like the best bad guy? Because you, like, immediately hate him, right? Yeah. Because, like, it, I mean, like, there have been villains that you can identify with and that you appreciate. Sebulba is not that fucking person. Sebulba is a shithead. Yeah. Like, he 
shit talks Anakin and call, like flat out is like, hey, what up, slave scum? You'll never yeah. beat me because yeah. um, somebody else literally owns you. And he's a che he's so and dishonest. then he cheats. Yeah. He cheats like he blatantly cheats. Yeah. So like they just they do. That's one credit like, that to I will give to this people. movie. Yeah, absolutely. Like, in the pod race, like, he that is killed, he killed one people. thing that I will give credit to this movie for is, like, they did such a good job of making you immediately fucking hate Sebulba. Yeah. And you root for Anakin to beat Sebulba. Yeah. Not because you love Anakin, because they never really give you a excellent reason to love Anakin other than it's just like, oh, look, look at this little tiny child. Isn't he a cute little baby and he's asleep? Don't you love him? Like, that's it. That's all they give you. Yeah. But they make you hate Sebulba so much that you're like, fuck yeah, Anakin, win this race, get Rick Sebulba, what up? Like, eat dirt. Yeah. Oh. And then... Um, Obi-Wan, while, like, in that same scene where he's like, Hey, let me fix oh, your yeah. arm, Anakin. Ow. Let me fix your arm, Anakin, and then, like, send this blood off without your consent. Um, whatever, whatever. He's like, so, what's up with your dad? And then Anakin's like, I don't have a dad. Or, like, no, his mom says, oh, oh yeah, he, he doesn't have a father. I carried him. I bore him. Or this other thing. I raised him. I can't explain it. Who the fuck is his dad? Who the fuck what is his dad? What is that? He's not little. L literally, like Anakin when we finished, Jesus. When we finished watching the movie, I googled this shit, and apparently that's a real thing, like in the Star Wars universe, like for them to have like immaculate conceptions. But that seems, all the that seems all the mini That seems wrong. But I also really cannot weird. attest to that being in canon. That's probably legends. It's Somebody weird. his daddy, and it seems weird to me for him to just come out of fucking nowhere. But then again, like that's the thing that they're pushing for with Ray in the new movies is that she just fucking came out of nowhere. So really, yeah, we went until the last shot together. Yeah, they're but, like your parents are nobody. Yeah, but she's supposed to just like. I guess my ideas of did you her and who she is. It's just so <laughs> like, like I feel like I know. You know, like, I guess everybody has their own opinions and everybody thinks they're right. So I guess in my mind, like, I hadn't even considered that as a possibility just because, like, I have my own idea of who she is. And I don't believe Kylo Ren. I know you I'm do. Kind of, no, I'm kind of 50-50, actually. Like, part of me is like, no, that makes sense. Because they're trying to be like, that. like, that was the whole theme of this, like, The Last Jedi is like, fuck the past, like, we're getting ready to start, like, our own new thing. Mm -hmm. So I get that, and if that does turn out to be the thing, like, 100%, I get it. But then the other part of me is, like, the Force just doesn't come from nowhere. Okay, um, but we don't need to talk about yeah. The Last Jedi now. Or yeah. The Force <laughs> we're talking. Okay, what else? Um, <laughs> no, the rest. I was going to say, kind of like in Harry Potter, like Hogwarts, you like um um Hermione is from a Muggle family, and she was just chosen to go to Hogwarts. Can I? Yeah, talk I mean, about like it just like yeah, yeah, it just yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so she. I mean, like Hermione is one of the best witches of her witches time. of her time, and she was Muggle born, like one hundred percent Muggle born. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's a fair argument. Yeah. So I think a little tiny baby could just be born like force sensitive and um then that can be like honed and uh or, or not yeah yeah i guess we'll find out <laughs> the rest of my list goes like this sebulba equals bad guy uh okay but anakin's dad though oh shit it's a bitch baby darth maul which we've already talked about yeah. how i think darth maul is a bitch baby yeah but apparently he's not and i just feel that way i don't know um, so. And boring politics are a thing. And then Obi-Wan is the best. Like Except it's... like I don't understand. I don't understand. At the end of The Phantom Menace, like, tor well, towards the end, like, Darth Maul is there and he's like, fight, he make fight fights, right? With his lightsaber. And he manages to kill Qui-Gon Jinn. Yeah. And then Obi-Wan is like, 
no. I should have been you. Right. And so then Obi-Wan comes out and he's like, fuck you, motherfucker. I'm going to kill your ass. But then Darth Maul is like, nope. There goes your lightsaber. And then also, there goes you. So Obi-Wan is like hanging on yeah. in the thing. Yeah. And then his lightsaber gets knocked off. Like, why wasn't he like, force save my lightsaber? Yeah. And then also like, force jump up out of this with my lightsaber. Like, why was that yeah, not a because, thing? Yeah, because, because he did when that force earlier. speed is a thing, yeah. like when force speed is a thing and they're like, pew, pew. also, if force speed was a thing, then why wasn't he in there with Qui-Gon Jinn to fight Darth yeah. Maul at the same time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't. I don't understand. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it yeah. makes... The things make story sense. They don't make logical sense. Yes. Yeah. You feel me? Because, like, yeah. I understand story sense being like, oh, no, there goes my lightsaber, but it's cool because old Qui-Gon's lightsaber is still here, and I'm going to yeah. take that. And now I'm the new master... I'm the new Jedi master that's going to take Anakin as my Padawan and blah, blah, blah. Like, story-wise, it makes sense. Yeah. But, like... Logically, it's bullshit. It so, could have been done better. That's the story of this whole movie. Yeah. It, could, it have could, have could have been better. Could have been better. Could have been better. We could have just said that, and that could have been the whole video. Yeah. I mean, that would make my job editing a lot easier just to be like, It's Star Wars. How did you feel about the movie? It's, it could have been a lot better. It could have been better at the end. We have to say bye now, though. Oh, okay. Bye, y'all. Goodbye.